Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and you're watching episode number 19 of I Create Content. Hey everyone, appreciate you being here. It's Monday, we're kicking off another week. If you caught my show last Friday, I showed you how to use the clone stamp inside of Photoshop. Today we're taking a look at different ways to sort images inside the library module inside of Lightroom. Let's go ahead and take a look. On the screen in front of you, you can see I have a picture of my wife and daughter. These were taken around the time she was 10 months old. Seems like a lifetime ago. And what I want to show you is if you look at the toolbar, remember it's T to toggle the toolbar on and off. I want you to see you have the ability to assign flags. A white flag is what we call a pick flag. Notice it in the top left corner of the image. And that means that that's an image I want to keep. I have an X or a black flag, meaning I've rejected the image. I have the ability to assign one through five stars to an image. Notice they show up over here in the bottom left-hand corner. And then I also have the ability to go and assign color labels. So I have red, yellow, green, blue, and a purple label. If I zoom in on this image, I want you to see that right directly on the image, you can set the one through five star controls by clicking in the lower left hand corner. You can set the color labels by clicking in the lower right hand corner. And if I go to the top left corner and right click, I can set the flags. So if we talk just briefly about those different ways to sort your images. When I have a bunch of images that I want to quickly go through, my personal preference is to use the flags. I use the pick flag, which is the white flag, to denote all the images that I'm going to put into a collection and actually go and edit them in the develop module. I leave images that are unflagged alone. They're images that I'm not sure I want to do with. Uh, I'm not going to edit them right away, but I'm not going to delete them. And then I use the black flag, the rejected flag, for the images that I'm certainly going to delete that I'm not going to keep. I find that's the quickest way to sort through a huge batch of images. Now I know what you're thinking, what about the stars? I've got one through five stars. Well, yes, five stars would denote the best image, and one star might mean it's a keeper. And what really denotes a three-star image from a four-star image, right? Um, same thing with the color labels. I could use red for the best images I have, and green for the images that are okay, and blue for images that I, I'm not really sure with. But I don't use it that way. I think the flags are really the quickest way to get to it because it is the shortest um, choices, or fewest number of choices. For myself, I use five stars for images that are the best, and that's really the only star ranking I use. I use the color labels to denote different categories. Um, so for example, if I shot a wedding event, I would use red color labels to note all the images that were during the ceremony, and I might use a green color label to denote all the images that happened to be during the reception. So let's take a look at how you actually apply these different types of labels on images. I'm going to go ahead and hit the tab key to drop the side panels. I'm going to make the thumbnails a little bit smaller. And I just want you to see, if I select a range of images, I could go ahead and hit the P key. That would assign the pick flag or the white flag. I could also go through and grab a bunch of images, and I could hit the X key. And notice that sets the reject flag, and notice that rejected images appear grayed out. I could also just leave a couple images unflagged. If I decide that I want to remove or delete the rejected photos, that's really simple. I can go right to my menu and select the command to delete rejected photos. When I choose this, it will give me a preview first. So I've got one last shot to take a look and decide if I want to delete those photos. And then I have the option to delete them from disk or remove them. If you choose to remove the photos, they will be removed from Lightroom's catalog, but they're still on your hard drive. If you actually want to trash the images, hit delete from disk. They'll go right to your trash can or your recycle bin, which you can empty later. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit delete from disk on these images. 
That does that. That leaves me with the images left that I want to sort through. If I take a second, I'm going to go ahead and just look at an image closer. I can do that by going to the loop view. Once again, I had picked this image. So notice when you're in the loop view, the pick flag is down in the toolbar to let you know that it's actually been flagged as a pick. All right, if I want to go ahead and give this a star rating, I can do one through five on my keyboard. So one, two, three, four, five. And notice also in the toolbar, this is where the star rating shows up. If I'm in the grid view, the stars will show directly on the image. But in the loop view, they're going to show down in the toolbar. Let me go ahead and give some of these images color labels so you can see that. I'll go ahead and just choose a couple here and I'll make those red. So notice they have red outlines. If I click away from them and they're not selected, the boxes are actually shaded red. I'll go ahead and pick another set of images and I'll give those a blue color label. And again, they have a blue outline while they're selected. The moment I click away from them, notice I have blue shaded boxes. So those are a couple of different ways that you can assign colors. You can do star ratings if you prefer, or my personal preference, I like using the pick flags. So my name's AJ Wood. If you like the video, as always, please give me a thumbs up. Right? Uh, I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let all your friends know that I'm here creating videos specifically for you guys. You can leave me comments or request your personal favorite on Facebook, Twitter, or now on Google+. Go ahead and leave comments on my blog at ajwood.com or leave comments here on the YouTube channel. So as always, appreciate you guys being here. I'll see you on Wednesday.